actually really is a star and a big star in his own right. He comes to us quite by accident. Um, literally, his van broke down on a way to a concert in Toledo. Really? <laughs> yep. So we figured, hey, no use in wasting a visit to Firmwood. Why not give him a shot on television? Right. This is a big night for Firmwood tonight, and it's almost a thrill for me. Right. <laughs> not, not costing us any uh, any uh, cover charge or minimum uh, for this show either. No, he's not staying at the Apache either. Whoa. <laughs> Let's not mention names when we're saying where they're not staying. <laughs> Just where they are. That's right. <laughs> I haven't even met this gentleman, you know. But I know he sells a lot of albums, and he makes about half a million big ones in, in one year. That's a lot. Yes. <laughs> in my book. Yes. That spells talent. Please welcome the talent of Mr. Tom Waits. All right. The piano has been drinking. The necktie is asleep. And the combo went back to New York. Jukebox been busted for several weeks Cause the carpet needs a haircut And the spotlight looks like a prison break And the telephone's out of cigarettes And the balcony is on the make And the piano has been drinking Heavily tonight the piano has been drinking And you can't find your waitress With a Geiger counter And then she hates you and each and every one of your friends Can't get served without her And the box office is drooling And the bar stools are all the newspapers were fooling And the ashtrays had every time Cause the piano has been drinking Not me Take a load off your act. <laughs> <laughs> Wowee. Yeah. Hey, that's rotten luck. Car broke down, huh? Right up there on the way to Toledo. Yes. You touring up here in the Tri City um, area? Yeah. Well, um, spending a great deal of time up here uh, against my wishes. <laughs> oh, <I'm> sorry. To <laughs> get... After a trip like that, that kind of harrowing experience of having your car break down, which is no picnic, because no, unless no, you brought it's not, one, yes. <laughs> that's that's really murder. I wish I had something other than this uh, diet soda here to offer. Right. No sweat. Whoa. <laughs> No brand names there, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> no, if he said Harvey's Bristol Cream on the air, we'd be in big trouble. <laughs> I bet if I said Harvey's Bristol Cream, uh, they'd probably be sending over bottles of it to you <laughs> just, and me both. Uh, we don't want that. Just might take you a little longer. That's right. <laughs> Tom, where, where do you hail from professionally? Is it the Big Apple, as they call New York, I think? Or is it Hollywood? Yeah. Or, uh... I live at Bedlam and Squalor. <laughs> I think we've all lived there at one time. Yeah. It's kind of strange to have a guy sitting here with a bottle in front of him. Well, I'd rather have a bottle in front of me than a frontal lobotomy. <laughs> I guess so. That's awful. Well, while you've been here in Fernwood, have you had a chance to go to any of the night spots or any of the restaurants or anything like that? It's a wonderful place. You might get to like it. I was out last night. I went to the... Shoes and socks restaurant or whatever you call it. Right? I mean the cup and sup, I think. Cup and sup, yeah. Buck ninety nine for all you can stand. It's a harrowing, to say the least. Yeah. What, what did you order? That they have some awfully good dishes at the cup and sup. Oh, I had. Uh, I don't know. Al well, Betty, she had the fillet of athletic equipment. <laughs> I didn't know whether to eat mine or give it a ride home. <laughs> that will happen. Well, 
It wasn't expensive. That's the main part, huh? Hey, well, I, I wanted to mention something about that. I just maybe I shouldn't even be mentioning on the air. We're friends. Hey. Hey. No, just a couple of bucks. That's all. Just. A <laughs> Just until my brother straightens out. I had to leave. I, uh, yeah, I understand. I had your to point. leave our four-year-old sure. for collateral. <laughs> I'm uh, Jerry. Give him twenty dollars. Hey, that's all right. You know, really. Oh. You know, it's my last. That's perfect. <laughs> well, I guess uh, by giving you this money, it means we'll be seeing you again soon. I hope. Oh, I, I've enjoyed my stay so far. I should imagine so. I will be back in a few moments after this message.